is Bigfoot real? If so, what the heck is Bigfoot? Uh, today I'm going to be reviewing a very interesting movie called A Flash of Beauty. Um, and, uh, well, we'll get more into that. Uh, for now, welcome to Cosmic Road, where I discuss UFOs and the paranormal. Please hit like, please subscribe, share on social media, and as I'm going through it, please comment below and let me know what you think. Okay, now, the reason I watched this movie is because I saw an interview with the filmmakers uh, on Whitley Stryber's uh, YouTube channel. And I'm a, I'm a fan of Whitley Stryber and uh, have been for a while. I think he has some really interesting things to say about the phenomenon. Uh, and he is a, a fairly high-level experiencer himself. Um, not the highest, but fairly high. Uh, with some really interesting uh, experiences that he's had, including alternate realities and uh, all sorts of stuff. Uh, and he has uh, some really good books that he's put out that I've uh, really appreciated, uh, especially a book uh, that was written or co-written with his late wife. That is, she, uh, from beyond the grave, uh, through this channeled, inf channeled information that he received from her, uh, co-wrote this book with him. That might sound fantastic or even silly to some people, uh, but it doesn't to me uh, who have investigated near-death experiences just as much as I have investigated UFO abductions and UFOs uh, and uh, have had interesting experiences myself. So I, I, I just think that is absolutely fascinating and I totally encourage you to check that book in particular out. I want to say it's something called A New World or something like that. Anyway, really good. So, yeah. So, fan of Whitley Stryber in the things he says. Also, he's a fellow Texan, which is nice. Or at least he lives here now in San Antonio, which I lived in for a few years. Um, but uh, that's neither here or there. This video is about Bigfoot. And the interview that he gave uh, with these two filmmakers, these documentary filmmakers, on Bigfoot was really exciting uh, because he really probed them on the more interesting to me aspects of Bigfoot, which is the otherworldly, other dimensional aspects of Bigfoot. And he got them to talk about all sorts of fascinating and interesting uh, things uh, like, you know, Bigfoot has been seen walking into trees, just walking into a tree, in an individual tree and vanishing into the tree. Uh, other you know, times, Bigfoot has been observed uh, turning into an orb or a ball of light or an animal like a squirrel or something. You know, or at least that's the impression that people get. That could be some sort of screen memory, um, you know, or a mental projection of the Bigfoot. Or who the hell knows? Maybe they turn into a squirrel. I don't know. Anyway, but uh, so that's the fascinating thing about Bigfoot to me is that uh, he is not just some lost primate that people haven't discovered and haven't been able to find that exists all over the world in every like wooded area, uh, densely wooded area in, 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 you know, all over the world. Uh, so with, you know, regional differences between them, uh, but uh, the same basic species, um, you know, that makes no sense. That makes no sense. We would have found bodies. I don't care how smart they are or how isolated they are or isolationist they are. We would have found freaking bodies. So, uh, but at the same time, Bigfoot does exist. So you have to look at all of these accounts uh, uh, describing this otherworldly or other dimensional uh, paranormal uh, aspects of Bigfoot to really get to the truth uh, of Bigfoot as much as we can. There are many accounts of, uh, you know, poltergeist activity associated with Bigfoot, for example, or Bigfoot turning himself or herself invisible uh, and all, all sorts of all sorts of stuff. So uh, so that's what really intrigues me about Bigfoot. Uh, is this otherworldly nature. You see uh, alien abductees who will see Bigfoots on, you know, alien saucers, uh, alien ships, or you'll see them interacting with aliens or the visitors or whatever they are, you know, on, on the ground. And uh, sometimes they even seem to be taking orders from the beings. 
All of which leads me to this movie, A Flash of Beauty, which I was encouraged to see by this, you know, really great interview with Whitley Stryber. And I was hoping that the uh, movie would get into the same territory that the interview did. Um, and it's a very well done movie. Uh, it's a very well shot, you know, well directed. You know, it's a very professional production of this documentary. Uh, so if you want to see a bunch of fairly credible people describing their encounters with Bigfoot, uh, you know, I totally recommend checking it out. If you're on the fence about whether Bigfoot is real or not, um, you know, this might push you toward believing that Bigfoot is real because again, it's a very professional production and these are very credible seeming people. You know, they're, they're not cuckoo and you know, crazy looking. Uh, they don't seem to be out for attention. Uh, several of them have never spoken about this before until, you know, until this documentary. Um, so um, if you're on the fence about believing in Bigfoot, you know, I encourage you to, to check out this movie. It could be a stepping stone toward you believing in Bigfoot. And after that, I encourage you to do a lot of research into various accounts. Uh, what really persuaded me uh, originally was various police officer accounts where they actually filed reports uh, about Bigfoot. Now, police officers are notorious for uh, hating uh, to be thought ill of by their peers. They're very conservative in that way. Um, you know, they don't want their, their buddies to ridicule them. So they hate to report things like Bigfoot. So for them, for multiple police officers to have filed a actual police report about Bigfoot indicates to me that they were take, that taking this very seriously and so seriously that they weren't even afraid of the ridicule they would receive from their fellow cops. Um, so, uh, that's what originally got me to take Bigfoot more seriously. Before that, I thought it was pretty silly. And, you know, I, I guess I converted to the belief in the Bigfoot, you know, two or three years ago. And, uh, then as I got more into my research and encountered more of the paranormal metaphysical aspects of Bigfoot, it began to make more sense to me because it made no sense, uh, that there was this undiscovered, primate in the modern era that was worldwide and et cetera, et cetera. Uh, that just really just doesn't make sense. So, uh, but if it's a metaphysical being or a being from a parallel earth or, or, you know, a hybrid created by the aliens, um, you know, and, and, and assisted by the aliens, then it all begins to make more sense. Um, so, does this movie address any of that? No. No, it does not. I was profoundly disappointed by this movie after having watched the interview with Whitley Stryber. If I hadn't watched the interview with Whitley, uh, if I had just come at this as just a, you know, a Bigfoot documentary with some, you know, fairly normal looking people uh, describing their encounter experiences, you know, I'd probably walk away satisfied if that's what I was looking for in a documentary. It's not. I don't need to see that. I've done a lot of research. I, I know Bigfoot is out there and uh, I don't need to see people talking about their uh, random mundane encounters with Bigfoot. Mundane encounters with Bigfoot. That is, they're not talking about the more interesting metaphysical aspects of Bigfoot or the alien aspects, if you will. Uh, so, um, but this movie doesn't go into that. It's like I said, just people talking about their, you know, sightings of Bigfoot, basically their regular sightings of a flesh and blood, flesh and blood, easy for you to say, uh, flesh and blood Bigfoot that is not alien or metaphysical, uh, or other dimensional at all. So, um, if that's what you want to see is, you know, people describing those sorts of encounters of mundane Bigfoot sightings, then I encourage you to check out this movie. Like I said, it's a well done movie. And if I hadn't come into it, expecting them to talk more about what I think of are the more interesting aspects of Bigfoot, um, then maybe I would have been satisfied with the movie because it is, it is a well done movie. And I acknowledge that, and I'm not saying it's a bad movie at all, but after watching that interview where the 
filmmakers of the movie are openly discussing these very interesting aspects of Bigfoot, uh, which I which I believe those interesting aspects are going to go to the truth of Bigfoot. Once we understand that Bigfoot is not merely a flesh and blood being of this reality, uh, you know, a lost primate that we haven't discovered, um, or biped, or whatever you want to call him, um, then uh, then we're going to find out closer to the truth. We may never understand the truth of Bigfoot, just like we may never understand the truth of the phenomenon within our lifetimes. Um, but at least we can get a little closer. So uh, anyway, those are my takes on this movie, A Flash of Beauty, Bigfoot Revealed. Uh, it's a good movie, a well done movie. And if you want to uh, find out, you know, more about Bigfoot or, or if you're on the fence, like I said, I, you know, I encourage you to see it. If you really want to get to the truth of what the heck Bigfoot is uh, and look into some of these more interesting aspects of Bigfoot, this movie may not be for you. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. Comment in the comment section below. Let me know what you think about Bigfoot and, uh, you know, this documentary in particular, if you've seen it. Uh, also, please hit the subscribe button and the bell next to it to be notified of future videos. That would be awesome. Trying to get as many subscribers as I can. Almost to 2,000 now. That's awesome. So, uh, oh, and there's a, a Twitter link below. You know, follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Facebook. If you want to uh, donate to the channel, if you want to uh, support the channel, there's also a PayPal link below. That'd be, that'd be badass if you wanted to do that. Uh, until next time, Cosmic Road out.